CNN hasn't been able to independently verify the voice heard from this radio show caller, uh, and that it's that of the Sandy Hook shooter. But the eerie audio from the Daily News might bring some insight into the mind of a young man not long before he went on that shooting rampage that shattered the nation. Is this the voice of Adam Lanza? The little thing he experienced with the last straw is overwhelmed. According to a report in the New York Daily News, it is. The cover story includes what is purported to be recently uncovered audio, recorded a year before the 20-year-old committed one of the deadliest mass murders in American history. The paper spoke to two classmates of Amanda who said it was him. He didn't think it's really any different than that human childhood. The audio obtained by the Daily News is from an Oregon college radio show called Anarchy Radio. The man the paper identifies as Lanza wanted to discuss the death of a domesticated chimp named Travis with radio host and self-proclaimed anarchist John Zerzan. In 2009, Travis was shot and killed by a police officer after he brutally mauled a Connecticut woman. The caller who identifies himself as Greg compares a violent chimp attack with that of a teenage mall shooter in an over seven minute interview. The attack can be seen entirely parallel to the attacks from Grand Maxwell that you bring up on your show every week. Committed by humans, which the mainstream also has no explanation for. And no. Actual human. I just, just don't think it's such a stretch to say that he very well could have been a teenage mall shooter or something like that. Zerzan doesn't know who the caller was, but remembers the call. The voice is kind of odd, sort of robotic. And maybe he's trying to disguise his voice or something, I, I don't know. According to a blogger cited by the Daily News, Lanza posted in an online forum under the username Smiggles, a name Sandy Hook investigators say he may have used in instant messages. In one 2011 post uncovered by the blogger, Smiggles wrote about calling into John Zerzan's radio show. I think the subtext of what he's saying, violence is innate and instinctual to humans and really should not be punished because it is their natural basis. That's the message I think he's trying to get across. And the parallel to himself is obvious. He feels possessed by this need, this compulsion to commit violence. We reached out to Connecticut State Police spokesperson Paul Vance and we're still awaiting a comment from him. Meantime, Lance's father, Peter, says that he's willing to release any medical records that he can related to his son. A month ago, the Sandy Hook Advisory Commission said it is vital to have access to more information about Lance's mental health history.